Kumar Ketkar joining me on the phone line right now. Kumar Ketkar is a is a very senior um, senior journalist tracking Maharashtra politics and we had a conversation just last night Mr. Ketkar about what yeah. the possibilities were and while you predicted uh, the election uh, result numbers quite accurately you did say of course that the Congress is unlikely to ally with either the Sena or the BJP. We're now hearing buzz about the fact that the Congress and the Sena might actually consider uh, being allies to each other. Is that, uh, is, is, is that a possibility that, uh, that you think would actually play out? No, it will not be a possibility. Mm. <clears throat> there could be some understanding on issues. That is not alliance and that is not a front. Alliance is a completely different thing. Front mm. is a completely different thing. On specific issues about Mumbai, mm. there can be joint support even otherwise it was. It is not something new. Mm. But on specific issues of Mumbai's development, Congress, since it is in opposition, and Shiv Sena, if it wants to be in opposition, then they can work together. But that is not an alliance. That's not an they alliance. They cannot come together as an alliance. Out of question. It's out of the question. So, um, the, the 30 seats that the Sena is short of, and in an exclusive interview to Magic Bricks Now, Aditya Thakre has said that they are speaking to um, you know independents who have joined them quite openly. He didn't tell us how many. He hasn't told us the numbers. But uh, the Sena seems confident right now that they will be able to cobble up the numbers to form the government. Is the BJP, in your opinion, their only option still? No, no, how can uh, how can they form administration uh, with Congress? Hmm. Because there is something called National Congress High Command. National Congress High Command cannot afford to have a regular tie-up with Shiv Sena. They can have not a regular, but on issue-based, problem-based, campaign-based understanding within the corporation for voting purposes, for jointly action purposes, on standing committees, and so on and so forth. Nothing like alliance. And this used to be there even in the past. So nothing new. Well, also, uh, a couple of the representatives of the Congress who've been in our studio have actually gone as far to say anyone but the BJP. That's what we're looking at right now. The idea is to keep the BJP out they, of the BMC. That is why they quietly supported some of the candidates to defeat BJP. That's how they did. Mm -hmm. And they will do that again. But to you... embarrass BJP, to embarrass BJP, they will do things like that. But that is an understanding. That is not a tie. Okay, that's an there understanding. There will be no official mm -hmm. front, official alliance, official tie-up. There can be issue-based understanding mm -hmm. to embarrass BJP, which is possible. So you're saying an issue-based understanding cannot be, uh, you know, cannot be anything more than that. And do you think that if these parties try and stall it past, uh, you know, the uh, the elections in in UP, that maybe post that we might see some changes? No, no, they have uh, to consider the entire country. They cannot mm. uh, think locally. Mm -hmm. They have to think globally. That is, in this context, they have to think nationally. They cannot think locally. They, at local level, they can support, like, for instance, you must have noticed, they were thinking of uh, supporting one fa faction of Anna DMK. Yes. They supported uh, D DMK. Yes. DMK was part of the front. Yes, yes. But DMK was part of the front because DMK was ready to take a secular national stand. Mm -hmm. Shiv Sena cannot take a secular national stand. Yes, and in fact, in our conversations yesterday, we had Manisha Kande quite clearly calling uh, Uddhav Thakre a staunch Hindu leader with vision. So uh, they obviously are holding on uh, to the to their saffron uh, ideology, yeah, uh, Mr. Ketkar. Exactly. But but in in your opinion, over the last 24 hours, have you seen the BJP and the Sena soften towards each other, or no, the allegations not, have gotten they will not louder? Do anything now. They will not talk to each other. Right. They will not have formal negotiations now. Let the dust all be settled. Mm. After the dust is settled, they will quietly work out understanding. Because let, don't forget mm. that within Shiv Sena, there are sections of people who are soft on BJP. Mm. And I can name them also like Manoj <laughs> Similarly, there are people in BJP and yes. all ministers. And there, similarly, there are people in the BJP mm -hmm. who are soft on Shiv Sena. Mm -hmm. Those who are against Devendra Fadis within the BJP, within the BJP. Actually, they prayed and wished that some of the uh, candidates must be defeated to embarrass uh, Devendra Fadanvis. There are these factions in the BJP, anti Fadanvis and pro Fadanvis, anti gadkari and pro gadkari factions. So they can have understanding of a different kind.
So just as there are lobbies in the BJP, there are lobbies in the Shiv Sena. Mm-hmm. And the uh, question of formal alliance with Shiv Sena by Congress or Rashtrawadi is out of question. Yes, out of the question. Mr. Ketkar, stay with us. Hitesh Jain of the BJP joins me on the phone line as well. Hitesh Jain, uh, good afternoon and uh, thank you for joining us. I realize it's a holiday and it's a day uh, you know, of, of celebration for most parties. But there's a lot of buzz uh, that's rife right now about the possibility of a Sena Congress alliance, something that the BJP uh, hinted at uh, quite, uh, you know, yesterday several times. Uh, Mr. Ketkar, of the opinion that uh, that's not going to happen, but what will happen is the Shiv Sena and the BJP getting back together when the dust settles, which is a more likely scenario according to you, Hitesh? Well, uh, uh, two things that, uh, you know, we, uh, I do not make, want to make any comment on a hypothetical situation. Mm. As far as uh, Congress is concerned, they have to be aware that Uttar Pradesh is watching them, the campaign which they do in Maharashtra, what they talk and what they preach and what they actually do, Congress has to deal because today also Congress has to deal with a very important statement of Sheila Dixit, which called Rahul not matured. So uh, Congress has their own problem and we leave it to them at that. As far as we are concerned, uh, I think the Chief Minister went on record yesterday in his, during his press conference. He clearly said there is a core committee in the party. BJP is not a party of a high command or an individual person. There is a core committee who will take into account all the issues. The fact is you cannot rule out the possibilities that we, have, we are in uh, alliance in the central government and we are uh, in alliance in the state government. So as far as the core committee is concerned, the core committee will uh, take the decision on this matter with respect to alliance, how to go ahead, how to, uh, I mean, what should be the next steps and everything. And once the core committee meets and decides and takes the decision, that's how BJP is going to take any further but, uh, step. Gitesh, uh, two, my two reactions to what you said. First of all, it sounded like a warning that you issued to the Congress saying UP is watching you. Uh, is, is it still something that is worrying the BJP that uh, a possible understanding between the Congress and uh, the Sena might leave you out of the BMC sitting in opposition? Well, frankly speaking, it's uh, not worrying at all because after looking at the mandate completely, mm. the overall mandate, the writing on the wall was very clear that whoever Congress is touching, they're losing the ground. So today, fine. I mean, uh, if they want to go ahead, who are we to give any warning? I think mm. Shiv Sena is also sane enough to understand that what is the what is uh, what, what is going to happen if it 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 joins hands with Congress. Yeah, I made a point yesterday on your channel also that in the afternoon the right. Congress but, leaders but, were you were know uh, Hitesh Jain and Ashish Shelar has uh, uh, has apparently made a statement uh, off off record off camera saying that the BJP is open to sitting in the opposition in the BMC. Well, uh, I, as I mentioned to you, there is a core committee and the core committee can take all the options. So, I mean, uh, you know, at the end of the day, whatever is in the interest of the party, we will take the decision. All right. In whatever is in the interest of the party. Hitesh Jain reminding us that uh, an alliance between the Shiv Sena and the BJP is not unnatural. They are allies in the state. They are allies in the center. So it does seem like the BJP is thinking in that area. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.